Hey guys, welcome back to Mike Griffith Garage. So today, uh, the mission at hand is a 2004 Honda Accord clutch master cylinder. This, this does not look like fun at all. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on how I did it. Um, I'm gonna, I've never done one, so I'm going to learn along the way. So I'm going to try and make this as brief as possible, so that way I can give you the cliff notes version on how to do this. Um, anyhow, let's get to it. All right, so now we're inside the car. Um, so this deal here, this just pops into place. Not a big deal. Once you see it, you just there's the three snaps right there. Pops it right out, but it is covered by this panel right here. And it just snaps into place except for this one spot right here where there's a Phillips head screw. So make sure to take that off so you don't break the plastic. And then you can pop this off and then pop that off and you can pretty much see what's going on there. And there's the uh, clutch, the back side of the clutch master cylinder. Uh, see if I can get the light over here. Okay, so there's a little uh, clip that holds the, uh, that holds the pedal to the, that holds the pedal to the master cylinder. Uh, the clip goes through the rod, so I'm going to have to take the clip out, and slide the rod out, and then there's looks like two 12 millimeter bolts. There's the bottom one right there, and then the upper one is way the hell up there. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get to that, but we'll figure that out here in a minute. Anyhow, so that's, uh, that's where we're at. Alright, so, um, to get this down... <laughs> This clip's kind of stupid. <laughs> As you can see, it's got that little hook on there. So you got to um, pop that far enough out to where you can pull this out of, pull this out of this. Not a big deal. So I got the two, I got the two nuts out of there. I'm not even going to try and film where the hell I got them out because you can't see shit in there. It's, that thing is, way, I don't, I'm not really terribly sure how I'm going to get that nut started, but We'll, uh, I think I might be able to uh, figure it out. So now I gotta go in the engine compartment and we'll pull the master cylinder out. And hopefully with any luck, we can get the, uh, get the line off of there and uh, swap it out. All right, so I've got the master cylinder all loosened up. And uh, so the next thing I need to do is, see that clip right there? So that's got to slide out, and then this will slide out. It's a quick disconnect. <laughs> Gotta love that, at least because I was trying to figure out how to unscrew that inside of here, and uh, that ain't happening because the line goes underneath the booster, and you'd have to pull the booster out to get that line on here to take it loose. But since it's a quick connect with this, uh, what appears to look like a staple uh, or a U, anyhow, that's what holds it into place. So. You slide that out. Here, I'll show you. So how it works is it slides into the into those holes right there, just like that, and it comes with a new O-ring and all that. All right, so I'm gonna try and fish that thing out. I'm sure that'll be fun too. Okay, so I got the new one in. Um, not really any room to video under there. <laughs> it, it's yeah, it's it's fun under the dash. Anyhow, uh, the last tip I got is um, start that little U clip in the new master cylinder before you get it down in there. Um, so start the start the U bolt in, and then uh, get the line in in there, and start start to push it in enough to hold the line in place. Then I found that bolting the master cylinder up to the firewall, or at least getting the threads through the firewall, holds it in place enough to push that pin through because there is some resistance with the new O-ring and whatnot. That seemed to work out really well. It took me 45 minutes to figure that out so I could save you that time. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward little deal. Under the dash is, well, it's just it's tight quarters, so it's nothing really much to see. All right, guys. Well, that'll wrap up this video. Um, hope you found it useful. Um, if you get a chance, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. 